So here's what we're going to be doing in this quick tip tutorial. It's using this point attractor where we can adjust the density and kind of how loose the pattern is going to be depending on some of these sliders. So I'll give you an idea of what, how to get that done on this quick tip. First, I'm going to show how I created this um, subdivided surface and I started with a circle. Um, and so I just basically extruded it up and then subdivided it using, using isotrim. And I also used that bottom curve to be able to move this uh, curve up and down, which is basically moving the original circle up and down. And that's going to be our point tractor curve. I took those isotrims and I exploded uh, the B-Rep or deconstructed the B-Rep into the vertices and the points. And I brought those in. And so if I flatten it, let's... Um, if I flatten it here and let me show you under the preview so here we have 110 points and then here we have 50 and here we have 200 so what this uh, called duplicate duplicates does is it takes all those points and it just uh, take gets rid of the redundant ones so from there now all we have to do is create some um, use a pointer tractor components to to have the pattern change and that's pretty straightforward let's create a curve a tractor so to do that it's going to be curve closest points and there that's where we're going to put all the points and the curve we're going to plug in is going to be this one which we can move up and down and we're going to plug that in right into curve and we see that we have we get these green ones and so what we're going to want to do here is go flatten and that way we have this distance here which is a list of um, distances that show how close this curve is to those points right there and so that's what's going to allow us to create the point attractor or the curve attractor uh, remap numbers and for that, we're going to need to put in the original value. We're going to have to do the bounds, which is going to be the minimum and maximum number. So we'll plug that in here. And here we'll have to construct domain. And so what that'll do is allow us to pick a lowest number and a biggest number. And so we'll start with five. And we'll end with 10. And that'll be the target. And so what we're going to do is create some spheres. Which then we can use these points as the base for the spheres. We'll flatten it here. And then here are the mapped numbers we'll bring it into the radius and we'll see that we have now the pattern that has adjusted depending on both these sliders which is the smallest and the biggest and it allows us to control that and also we have this curve that we can move down to give us a different result And so we can actually do, we can say, actually, this is 10. Do the opposite. And then this is five. And so that way we can actually use this uh, set of spheres to create our um, Boolean difference for our original surface. So let me give you an idea of what that looks like in a quick time lapse. So I've actually created this solid outside form that 
we subtracted the spheres that we created using the curve attractor here to create this uh, kind of perforated pattern on a cylinder. So uh, this is something that I'm going to be using for kind of doing uh, some interesting patterns for my 3D prints. And so hopefully in the future, I'll be able to show you some of the results that I get from that. So um, that's a quick tip tutorial. Hopefully you got and understood the few steps that it takes to get a curve attractor. And if you didn't really get it, you can always look in the description and download the, the model and the script uh, so you can play around with it. And uh, hopefully you learned something and hopefully I'll see you next time.